welcome back to my channel um just to let you guys know what we're here in the uk it is raining and snowing um today roughly my breasts are extremely extremely sensitive um for anyone that's curious i am a b corp but right now this space it's all fun than that but that's not what about today's video is going to be about today's video is going to be looking back at my old hairstyles and my old hair colours and I'm going to let you know an update um, I'm going to be stop stopping completely dyeing my hair but to help me with the transition to get my hair to either be wavy or curly is see all this all this colour this will eventually maybe two years time will be cut off um, but this is going to be dyed my natural colour and my natural colour is a level 6 basically a light meat, light brown slash meat, um, dark blonde roughly. I'm in between basically roughly so um, I'm going to be buying a quick box dye roughly to get rid of my blonde officially for a very long time I, it. Um, I want my hair to be um, completely natural including my curls and the reason I decided to do this is because when my hair falls out Awfully, um, I notice that where I have new growth that has been recently dyed at the roots I've noticed it's very thick and then when you see the pots that didn't really get dyed, dyed properly it's very thin and to me that's a warning sign Awfully, so I thought I'd let you have that update that I am going back to Brunette and um, we're gonna get this hair roughly looking a lot more better now I am not going to be adding golden tones or anything to my hair it's going to be straight up light brown okay let me get up my photos and then we'll go on Facebook and get some okay I'm not going to show you ones where my hair is basically scrunched up and curled because we all know roughly that um, you've seen quite a lot of my blondes including my recent ones Because I just want to show you guys how much I've changed throughout the years. Oh god, I remember this. This style was when were you? This was when I went blonde and then I went, I think it was red and it turned kind of like this horrible rose gold colour slash pink colour. Can you guys see? That's not the best lighting, but it's this horrible freaking rose gold pinky colour and that was when I had my eyebrow piercing. then and um, I've tried many styles Ugh. I've even had red hair where I just had my the top of my head and I had the sides and the back completely shaped can you see the difference? It's just fun to look back at photos like this roughly now and then. Now this was when I dyed my hair red. Red hair it does in fact proper suit me. Just like blonde. Can you see I had just the top that I used to straighten a lot. And that was me a couple of years ago, and this is me now. Okay. 
Red hair. I really miss my eyebrow piercing. Um, this picture is me with red hair. This was many, many years ago, roughly, and um, my hair was more on the wavier side like it is when I scrunch it up and stuff but my hair was a less deeper red can you guys see <laughs> yep a less deeper red that was when I was in college This was just after I dyed my hair more brighter red and as you guys can see roughly now this was my favourite red watch it had a blue purple tint to it can you guys see god that looks so different But you can see that it stains. I can't show that because of tape. I wish I could just zoom in. I had my hair basically in um, where it was just the top in a ponytail and the rest was short. Seeing glasses. some more this was when I dyed my hair chocolate brown to the part where I dyed my hair grey and be prepared because this colour looks really nice my family love this colour on me these are not the most flattering of pictures but can you see how my style has completely changed? I used to do a lot of top knots. I've done side shaves. I'll show you as well. This was one of them. Sorry about that, that's my computer. But you can see roughly that silver hair, roughly silver slash grey hair. Oh, this was um one of them. There you go. Can you see the difference? I can't show you most of the pictures because for one, literally, my nieces and nephews are in these pictures and I have a shit ton of my nieces and nephews. Some decent picks. Can you 
tell me I have a lot of fair choices, making for my nieces and nephews. This was me when my hair was basically natural and as you guys can see my curl was more like a 2A two, two Sit back, be right back. Yeah, that was my hair completely slipped back. And as you guys can see, that was when I had stretched ears. This was when I did a side chain for Flea and I was brunette. And I had stretched ears then. This was when I wore a ponytail hair extension. I might actually start wearing one of those again. Hopefully because it was nice just to add a bit of length. I'm James. If you're wondering who I'm on about, I'm on about my nephew James. This was when I dyed my hair and I think I was going through my goth stage. If you can tell by the pictures, I never ever used to smile. I still kind of don't. And back then my style was very unusual. I'm trying to find some of my old, 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 old pics. This was a side shave with blonde. And this was after Wolfie because I went even lighter. Nowadays I'm finding myself edging towards more natural. And this was when I redid my side shave. It was basically more of a medium one. Now I'm going to show you the swaffle, but it's not the best picture. I think I overtoned my hair. But can you guys see how there has always been a wave in my hair? And it's always this front piece that always waves like that doesn't matter if I bleach it, do whatever, I naturally have a wave in my hair. Um, this was when I did like a full ble bleach including my side shave of that. Man, it's weird. This was my hair, um, chocolate brown. And as you can see, I did the side shave. It looks more black, but it wasn't. It was basically chocolate. 
Instagram. This was Ming eons ago as platinum. Can you see how short my hair was? This was when I wore a wig. My hair is mainly being long and short throughout the years. Can you see this is where my hair got longer? I think that was back in college. Right, I'm just going to go on Facebook because for one, that's where all my photos will be. Okay, this is when I first started playing with makeup again. And I wore a bandana. I might actually try and recreate this look with my hair with the bandana and stuff, but more cooler, as you guys can see. Let me put in this hand. What a difference. This was me when I went to college and I was studying hairdressing. Everyone um, back then I was allowed to go into the women's bathrooms and that lot will play. Um, I'll show you a recent one which is where my roots grew at from my um, highlights which I am now stopping and I'm going more, even more natural. I'm going back to my natural colour. And this is my hair when it was very blonde. And there was a wave to it as well. look that's the back of it and that's what's basically going on it doesn't matter how when you're looking you see it always waves no matter how many times I straighten my hair not anymore This isn't going to be the best picture, this is me holding my niece but I'm not going to show you her. But my hair used to be, it always used to grow out as an afro. This is another. <laughs> this is a long ass video, let's see if I can get some more with my side shaves. Because I have done many styles, I've had all kinds of hairstyles throughout my my life since I was 17 and guess what people I'm 30 years old this was me when I had my hair first cut into a pixie cut and that was a long time ago This is where I went clown red. You read it and it didn't work out because of my hair being the te being in its natural texture. Oh, it's horrific. This 
this is me wearing a wig to my brother's wedding I don't need to wear wigs anymore and I don't feel the need who remembers this look where um, I wore that pretty off the shoulder t um, dress and playing with wigs was actually pretty fun because I could do all kinds of things and I always used to go for lace fronts and there's this one now roughly I don't really coat for freaking styling the blonde hair this is my favourite picture of me There are some people that will keep, you know, like having blonde hair and stuff, you know, why they are going basically natural with the natural waves and stuff. But for me, I feel like I've done it all. And I don't see the point in... This was, I don't see the point in basically going bright blonde and stuff anymore. It's just not me anymore. This is when we were, um, when I was supporting the Orlando shooting for um, what happened in a nightclub. My hair was spiked up. I used to call it my um, David Bowie from Labyrinth look. Okay, then we come to the part where I just cut off all my hair and just did this. You won't be able to see it because my hair was extremely blonde. This one was part of my David Bowie look. And that's what I wanted to do, basically a proper mullet. I actually prefer David Bowie's hair here. From Labyrinth over his real hair. This was when I dabbled in hair extensions and this is what I compared it to. There's me, pure platinum hair and I compared that hairstyle to him from Mrs Brown's Boys. Can you see? Back then I wore a lot of black clothing and um, my nails there were not real, they were um, press-ons. Can you see? A lot changed in me personally roughly throughout the years. I've had all kinds of styles. I've had my hair short, long. Wig again. You can't really see it because this was taken at night time. That was when I was dating my ex-boyfriend. My first pixie cut in college when I was growing my hair out. For anyone that is curious, I do draw. That's what I can draw um, from Dragon Ball Z. Just take a pic. That's what it was. And then that's me doing that. Me with basically almost a bald head. <laughs> Then we come to the era of basically red hair with black tips. And then we go blonde again. Like I said, I've been blonde many times. Then we cut to the area where I was pink. Mm -hmm. I've been red, I've been pink. I've been blonde with side shaves and natural curls. 
and I'll show you roughly. This is my hair, shorter, but you can see the wave in my hair. Oh, this is when I first started doing side shaves and stuff. That was my hair completely natural. Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it because of the lighting. Oh, and this was when I started painting my nails. There we go. Those are natural nails just with tips. And I used to take sellotape and put it above the, la the white line of my nail and just paint them. And that was not professional roughly. That was me doing my nails with sellotape for the line and then painting them red, waiting for it to dry and then just taking it off. This was when my hair was longer and wavy slash curly and I had a side shave. Nowadays you don't really see me experimenting with hair colour as much. This was my hair when it was so much shorter. It used to go wild. Hang on! Anyways, I'm not going through one of them roughly but that's mainly it. You guys can see roughly what I had to put up with. Um, hope you guys like and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!